Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a theme like this at home that is about $2. So, let's get on with it. You will need either duct tape or I have masking tape here. Just mine is about two or three of my index fingers put together. So that's how long I have mine. So yeah, you'll also need, well you don't have to have these, these are optional, but scissors. I'm not going to be using them because only if you're, using, if you're using duct tape you use these, but with the masking tape I just rip it off. So yeah, let's go on with making it. Okay guys, so I've already made a beam, sorry about that light right above my back. Um, but I'm just going to extend mine. Right now, mine is the well, a little bit shorter than the wingspan of my arms. So I'm just going to extend mine. Now I have four pieces combined. Hang on, I'll give you a close up. So as you can see, I have four pieces combined through down the whole entire thing. But I'm just still going to extend mine some more. So I'm just going to find the end of it. And I'm going to pull some off. Okay. Um, now this is the moment of truth of where you're going to decide how long you want your thing. So you can do this really on any surface pretty much. Um, I'm doing mine on carpet because this is... Um, I share a room with my mum. So yeah, this is my mum and I. We have a room, so this is it. Um, so I just am sticking it up here. So I'm just putting my second thing down. Make sure it's sort of overlapping it. Um, but yeah. So now it's my third one. I will also be extending it at the bottom as well. And make sure it's kind of straight. I know mine's probably a bit wonky, but. can also fill in, okay, that one was really bad. See, the good thing about this too is you can just like rip it off and restart. So, yeah. And yes, this is really, really easy to take off. Carpet or um, any surface really. So, this is just my beam that I have at my mum's house. Um, yeah, and at my dad's house, I haven't actually made one yet because I didn't think of doing this and also I didn't have any masking tape. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just be buying some masking tape soon. So yeah, um, I'm just going to do one more here. Trying to make sure that you don't overlap it too much. Alright, now I'm just going to go and do the other side and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I didn't extend the other side very much, but I still did extend it. But as you can see here, I ran out of tape, but that doesn't matter. So yeah, now I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Guys, so I only started, I started doing gymnastics when I was seven, and I did that for a year, and um, then I started back again two weeks ago, so yeah, I'm into gymnastics again, and yeah, so I'm just showing you guys some of the things that I already knew, and that I have been taught, so this is just a hair stand on the beam, I'm still learning these things, so yeah, this is a hair stand on the beam. Now, I do sometimes fall off of it, and if you guys are wondering why my hands aren't always fully on the beam, just my thumbs are, it's because my hands are like this on the beam, and I all my body weight is pretty much supported by my thumbs, so I'm just holding the beam like that when I'm up in the air, so I'll show you guys again.
Okay guys, now I can't really do that much else on the game. Um, I'm just going to try and do this. I've been trying to teach myself a couple of headstand thing with you. But I always just fall over. And yes, let's try one more time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya!